we can derive the formula for the torque on a current carrying loop in a magnetic field which is free to turn about an axis as is shown in the diagram by combining the formulas for the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field and the formula for torque. Let us begin by defining our loop as being rectilinear, rigid and having corners A, B, C and D. The ends of the loop marked AB and CD make no contribution to the torque so we need only concern ourselves with the torque generated by the forces on the sides of the loop which are marked AC and BD. Let us further define the sides AB and CD as being equal to W, the width of the loop, and the sides AC and BD as being equal to L, the length of the loop. The magnitude for the forces acting on sides AC and BD, which are equal to the length of the loop, are given by the formula F equals BIL sine theta, where F is the force in newtons, B is the magnetic field strength in tesla, I is the current in amps, L is the length of each side in meters, and theta is the angle between the current direction and the direction of the magnetic field. As the loop is rigid and maintains its shape as it rotates, the sides AC and BD are held at right angles to the magnetic field as the coil rotates. The magnitude of the force on each of the long sides of the coil is therefore given by the formula F equals BIL sine 90. That is of course equal to F equals BIL multiplied by 1 and that simplifies to F equals BIL. These forces will be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction and therefore in sign. However, as the forces act on opposite sides of the axis of rotation, they will both tend to turn the coil in the same direction. Therefore, we need only concern ourselves with the magnitude or absolute value of these forces. The formula for torque is tau equals F subscript P multiplied by D where tau is the torque in newton meters, F subscript P is the perpendicular force in newtons, and D is the distance from the axis of rotation to the point at which the force is acting. If the loop is not parallel to the magnetic field direction, the formula for torque will be tau equals F multiplied by D cos theta, where theta is the angle between the perpendicular to the straight line distance from the center of rotation to the point at which the force is acting and the direction of the force and this will be equal to the angle between the plane of the loop and the magnetic field direction as can be seen in the diagram. The magnitude of the torque acting on the loop will therefore be given by the equation tau equals 2 BIL multiplied by D cos theta where theta is the angle between the plane of the loop and the magnetic field and BIL is the force on each of the sides of the loop. The straight line distance from the axis of rotation to the point of action of the force for both sides AC and BD will be equal to W on 2, half the width of the coil. And when we substitute this into the equation, we get tau equals 2 BIL multiplied by W on 2 cos theta. This simplifies to tau equals BIL multiplied by W cos theta. The length of the loop multiplied by its width is equal to the area of the loop so that we can rewrite our equation as tau equals BIA cos theta where A is the area of the loop in meters squared. The torque on a coil made up of a number of loops N is simply the torque generated by a single current carrying loop in a magnetic field multiplied by the number of loops making up the coil. Our equation then becomes tau equals n BIA cos theta, where tau is the torque in newton meters, B is the magnetic field strength in tesla, I is the current in amps, A is the area of the coil in meters squared, theta is the angle between the plane of the coil and the magnetic field, and n is the number of turns or number of loops making up the coil. This is the form of the equation that is given in the syllabus. Summary. The torque acting on a current carrying coil in a magnetic field can be calculated from the equation 
tau equals n b i a cos theta, where tau is the torque in newton meters, b is the magnetic field strength in tesla, i is the current through the coil in amps, a is the area of the coil in meters squared, theta is the angle between the plane of the coil and the magnetic field, and n is the number of turns in the coil.